All right, let's take a look at this other one. A 1,200 kilogram test car, 54 meters per second comes to a complete stop. So the change in velocity here is 54 meters per second because it went from having 54 to zero. So if we want to know the change in momentum, we just need to include the mass. So the change in momentum equals the mass times the change in velocity. So we're going to get 1,200 times 54, 64,800. 800 kilograms times meters per second. That's a lot. If it was in contact with the wall for 0 0.068 seconds, what was the force? Well, we know that the force times the time equals the change in momentum. So the force times 0 0.068 seconds equals 64, 800 kilograms times meters per second. We divide by the time, divide by the time. We should see that the force equals, divided by 0 0.068, a very large number. We're going to say 952,000. We'll call it 953,000. 953,000 newtons of force.